So Kelly, I'm a little confused about the claim you made regarding 401ks and how you're assigning the control to another entity, which technically makes you a slave. Okay, so I got this comment right here and you're saying, hey, I was following along and until you got to the 401k and maybe my understanding is a little bit different, but can you, can you explain exactly what you mean? And he's commenting regarding this video. Here's a screenshot of that video here where I'm talking about giving up control of capital and what that means. So here's a real simple analogy. What first popped into my head when I read this, it's kind of like having a teenager. They just turned 16 and you get them a car, just a simple car. You bought it. It's your car. They have the privilege of driving and then they do something foolish, right? To where as a parent, you got to act. There's something you got to do. You can ground them. You can take privileges away. Certainly one of the things you can take is the car. Who gets to get in that car every day, go to school, go to work, see their friends, hang out on the weekends? The kid does. They technically could say, yeah, this is my car. But who actually controls it? Who sets the rules? You do. See, a 401k is really no different. And in that same video, I got this comment here, where this gentleman was like, um, I'm not sure I'm tracking with you because I converted my 401k to an IRA and I completely control the money. Same concept. Yes, you control what you're invested in now. If that was an old 401k and now you have the ability to put it into an IRA and invest it however you want. Annuities, self-directed IRA with real estate. You can call up Grant Cardone and invest invest with his group. So yes, you do have control that way. Just like the kid can take the keys, get in the car and drive away. However, what I mean is ultimately who sets all the rules? Who decides how much is your share of that money? It isn't you. IRAs and 401ks are really the worst debt imaginable. It's debt with an unknown interest rate and unknown terms. You have no idea how much of it is actually yours. So for that second comment going, I'm controlling it. You're right. And let's say you double it. That's awesome. You've done great. How much is yours? When you access it, do you set the rules on how you access it? If you accessed it too early and there's an extra penalty, what are the tax rates going to be over the years? If you're in retirement right now, what's the tax rate on that next year, let alone in five years or in 10 years? You see, this is why 70% of people with IRAs and 401ks, when it's time to retire, 70% of them cash them out within three years. And the reason is, is because they realize they don't control it. They have no way. Plus it's mean testing their social security, meaning it's making their social security retaxable. And they have no way of planning a descent coming down the mountain for multiple years. Again, you don't even know what next year holds. So that's what I mean by that. Yes, you have some ability to utilize the tool, but ultimately you don't control it just like the teenager in their car. So if you find this valuable, please like, please share, please leave a comment. More importantly, know that you're special to God, you're loved. Choose to live that way. Have a great day.